What's up, Star Wars fans? Welcome to another action figure review. This time we're looking at Obi-Wan Kenobi from Attack of the Clones. This is from SH Figure Arts um, to Marshy Nations and Bandai, um, which I believe to Marshy Nations is a part of Bandai. I need to do my research. Um, yeah, I just reviewed the Django Fett. So here is his counterpart. Again, I got this one and Django Fett from the littletoycompany.com.au. Um, yeah, well priced and they got here really quickly. So I was pretty impressed the day I got these. Um, this is a, this is a pretty good figure despite the fact that he just fell over. That's okay. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this one. I'm looking more so looking forward to the Revenge of the Sith one, which comes out in, I've got a pre-order that I believe comes out in February, early March, perhaps. I think February at this stage. Fingers crossed for that. Um. So it comes with some good accessories as well, with all the interchangeable hands that you'd expect. So just pop him out of the way. Firstly, he comes with a second head sculpt. Now if we just move, I'm just gonna pop both heads off so we can get a look, because they're both very similar. It helps if I can hold them and not drop them on the floor all the time. But um, it's not a great, deal of difference between the two. The one on the left is probably a little bit more stern looking and the other one's kind of just, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I like the one on the right more. But as far as I can tell, the hair's the same sculpt. Yeah, I think, I think both the heads are the same sculpt. They're just the paint is different. But they've both got a sort of gold, gold wash to the hair, which uh, there's part of me that doesn't like it, but I've sort of grown to grown to appreciate it. It's not so bad. It seems like they're kind of going away from that now, anyway. So we'll see what comes out in the future. We'll see when the Revenge of the Sith Obi Wan whether they choose to continue on with that sort of gold, gold wash to the hair. Not a not a terrible. Not a terrible looking face sculpt. It's almost it's almost there. I think the episode one Obi one is probably a little bit better in terms of accuracy and how it looks, but still makes a nice looking action figure. So again, comes with some interchangeable hands with a pair of fists. We have a pair of sort of semi-open lightsaber holding hands. One of one of them is on the figure at the moment. We get a sort of more angled open-handed lightsaber holding hand. So he's sort of slightly holding the lightsaber angled forward. And with the articulation you can really get him getting him pointing it straight ahead. And then we get, I feel like I've missed one, but I don't know if I have. I've uh, got a lot of spare hands and I've just sort of spent a bit of time trying to allocate them for, to each figure. So I may have missed a couple, but we get this open hand here, force push, which pairs up. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so maybe I'm missing another open hand force push like that. But this hand has sort of the, uh, Almost like the Force Suggestion Jedi Mind Trick hand. And this one has his piece. His point forward fingers that, you know, he does against Grievous. So let's get a look at the robes and stuff. Go have a look around the figure. We've got also lightsaber hilt with a peg. Just does stick tightly into his belt, which is nice. If these figures came with a nice robe, that would that would work as well. That would be great. But overall, really nice looking action figure. Excuse me. I'm really a fan of the boots. 
a nice nice paint and colour detail to them. I think they look good. Same with like the pouches on the back of the belt there. Little cylinders. There's another pouch there. It's more of those little cylinders. Lightsaber buckle there. And uh, yeah, much like the Obi Wan from Episode One, the robes are sort of are pretty much layered exactly the same way, just to allow a lot more movement. Uh, I really like this one. I'm I am super excited for the Revenge of the Sith one. Seeing as I just got Anakin, I'm looking forward to pairing them up and to fight together or duel against each other. We'll see how that goes, but. I definitely recommend this one if you're if you're interested. But yeah, I'd love I'd love to hear your comments and see what you think below. Let me know what you think of this one. Definitely be interested to hear. And a couple more reviews coming up. We've got Jedi Luke from Return of the Jedi and Darth Vader from Return of the Jedi. And the Vader will be I'm going to try and review the uh, display stand that I got with it, which is a SH Figure Arts item as well. So I'm looking forward to hopefully sharing that if I can fit it in the video. <laughs> so until then, guys, may the force be with you.